Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the Wise Woman Way. We are here in the kitchen. We have our sockeye smoked salmon here. Mixture is right here. And we're about to put it into... We're about to put it into the frying pan. Okay, we want them to be nice sizes. We're going to kind of pat them in our hand. Then we're just going to lay it down like that. Here's our second one, and we're using the ice cream scooper so they all can be the same size. Okay? So here we go, you guys. Here go the second one. Okay, you guys. And I think I should probably have washed the spatula. There's another one. So we have three in. Maybe we'll go ahead and get four in, which will be nice. Mm -hmm. We get a spatula. This would be a nice one. Yep. And they should smell real good. Okay, you guys, here go another one. And we're just going to slide it down in there okay because we know they have to cook through okay you guys so you see we have our salmon in let me just reach my hands so you guys can see what we're doing here all right hey Okay. Okay. I'm on a video. Okay, you guys. So it's frying here. Okay. Here We're going to turn them all over and we're going to check them. I'm washing dishes while it's frying. You guys want to hang out with me? You can do that. Or if you guys want to come back to the last and final video of this dish. You can definitely do that as well. So you want to make sure your oil is high enough so they can cook. And I tell you, you guys, I'm looking at these um, salmon crow cakes. Look at it. They're beautiful. Let me bring you closer. When I say they're beautiful, I mean they're beautiful. So I think I'll turn this one over. Nice and brown, just the way we want them, you guys. Look at that. Now, nah, it don't get no better than this. I want you guys to get a full look at them. Beautiful. Okay. So you guys, we're gonna go ahead and um, Wait for that first one to get done, and then we'll show you it. It's going to be really too hot to test. So let's see how this works out. All right. Okay, so we still have a full bowl left. I figure if that's four, eight, I think maybe there'd be approximately about 10 to 12 
of the salmon croquettes, um, which is awesome. You want to let them get nice and brown on both sides, and then you want to test them for um, having a, being a little firm before you take them out. That way you know they're done. Remember, you can eat salmon, you know, kind of raw, but you have the... Um, the mixture with the egg and flour in it. So you want to make sure they're nice and done. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. Let me show you guys this. Let's get back to the salmon crow cakes. Let me correct that. The sockeye smoked salmon crow cakes. It's basically my mom's recipe, but I done put my twist to it with the um, wild caught smoke. Look at that. Nice and firm. These are gonna be delicious. And along with our um, crow cakes, we're gonna be, um, we're gonna have some cabbage. Um, and I'll have to do some more video footage on the cabbage, and then we'll do the video footage on the potatoes. So there's nothing like fishy food with cabbage and potatoes. You get your starch and stuff from the potatoes, which is not starch, we know potatoes have starch in them. But um, we have red potatoes, um, a better um, potato, but we know potatoes also have potassium in it, so it's okay. And the cabbage, of course, a leafy um, green. So these are starting to feel really firm now, especially this first one. I think I'm just going to let it get just a little more browner on the other. Oh, these look delicious. Whew. Okay, you guys. Yep, you are here with Elizabeth Lied um, from the Wise Woman Way in the Kitchen. We are making our so um, sockeye smoked salmon wild caught. Yep, fat of the land recipe. Anything that comes from my mother, mother's mother's mother, 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 mother's, it become the fat of the land recipe. Look at that, you guys. Okay. So let's take one out and let's try one while the other ones are cooking. Let's put some paper towel down here. I'm gonna put it on this plate because we don't want this to get rolled up. Okay, you guys, here we go. Which one? Okay, this one is perfect. Okay, here we go, you guys. Well, we have to let it drain because you don't want to. That's nice on both sides. Let's see. Uh-oh, bear with me. Look at that, you guys. What do you think about that? Ooh-wee. Look at that. There you have it. Wow, nice crow cake. Okay, we're going to try this one. Okay, that one, okay. All right, this one is ready to take out too. So first, we're gonna go ahead, let's drain it a little, and we don't wanna have all that oil. So here we have it. Okay. Okay, you guys, here we go. I'm sorry, I just have to get the other ones out. We come too far, we don't want them to burn. Okay. This one is ready to come out. I'm gonna throw it on some napkin. Okay. While we're waiting, before we, we we're letting this one cool, and while it's cooling, we're gonna go ahead Scoop up two more. Look at that, you guys. Just pat it. They're nice and soft. Let's put them in. Don't take much. This one, I just need a little because I overdid that one. Looking good, looking good. You guys, I don't own the right to the music. I love radio. We love radio. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. Let me wipe my hands. And we're going to go ahead and test that one. First, we're going to check and see if the other ones are done. 
Uh oh, look at that. That's nice. Okay, so what's important right now, let's go ahead and cut this. I want you guys to see it. Come on over here. As Miss Tabitha Brown say, come on in the house. Anyway, you guys, let's cut it and see what it look like. Ooh. Well, make sure it's done. Look at that, you guys. That's your salmon croquet. Mmm. So, mmm. My goodness. You guys, this is so good. It's well done. Salmon, smoked salmon croquet. It's delicious. My, my, my. That's it. Wow. Yep. Make sure you let them get nice. Mm, you can taste that onion too. Let them get nice and hard. Don't let them burn. But let them get nice and hard. This is delicious, you guys. So... This is what we're going to do here. Oh, here we go. I'm looking for the other board. Okay. Look at that, you guys. So I'm just going to put... I'm just going to put some paper towel down so we can go ahead and take them out. This is definitely ready. Matter of fact, I think I will rather scoop it on this plate because it's so much easier. And this one too. Uh-oh. Come on now. And then we'll transfer it to here. Get that oil off. So we have those two. We can go ahead, turn those over. And then we'll go ahead and make more. Just trying to strategize. While I'll be eating mine, let's get some of this up, okay, put that there, mm. look at that, you guys, delicious, we can turn that down some, mm. I can def definitely taste the peppers. Oh, okay, so maybe we'll get four, eight, yeah, about nine or ten. We'll get about nine or ten out of it. Put that on. This is only about two more. Perfect. Make some smaller sizes that might help too. Matter of fact, let's see what it'd be like. Let's try making them into balls. What would that be like? Okay, we're just going to go ahead. you're trying to get away from other kind of meats um, if you're going to fry I suggest it doesn't be a lot um, I would say in moderation is always key um, to not eat meat and you want to enjoy food sometime um, if you have a problem with high cholesterol frying is definitely not the way to go that we do not Okay, you guys, really, we really, really appreciate you guys for tuning in, watching us make our salmon croquets. Um, well, for the first time using smoked salmon. Um, it came out perfect and it's delicious. 
I hope you guys can grab from this. I'm going to go ahead and put some more up here. So, no, we're going to let them cook. Let me check out the brown. Yeah, we're going to give that another flip and then flip it again. But we definitely don't want to we definitely don't want to burn them. Then we'll flip this one over too. Yep, there we go. Got to uh oh, got to cook it on high because you want it to be kind of hard. You definitely want it, want it to have some harness. And then I have some little ones in here. You know, sometimes, you know, little kids don't eat the size we eat, so we put it in like that. Okay, you guys. I am. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and finish eating my smoke sockeye smoke salmon. I'm telling you, it's delicious. Nice and crispy. Mm. Yep, you want them, you want to cook hard because they really taste good when they're hard and not so soft. And especially if you like crispy food. This came out perfect, you guys. Once again, we used self-rising flour. We also used um, organic corn flour. We diced up onions. We used two eggs. We used some Himalaya pink sea salt as well as some plain black pepper with the juice from clams as well as the juice from the salmon and we brought it all together for a good dish now if you guys want to know the, the complete recipe you put it in the comment below and i'll be sure to get it to you you guys got to try this this is good you haven't and especially if you're trying to get away from meats and you're on, more on the fish side well, this is perfect right here. This is perfect. You're going to love this. I just can't wait to eat it with my cabbage and potatoes. So you guys, if you want to, check out our cabbage we're going to do. And we're also going to make some potatoes. And even if we don't eat it tonight, we'll still have fish cake. If we want to eat our cabbage by itself or whatever, we could get to do whatever we want. Like my girls say, it's my business. I agree 100% with her. But anyway, you guys, thank you for tuning in. If you like what we do, press like. Please share so other people can see our content. And subscribe so we can get some good ratings. All right, you guys? Always remember to be well. Take care of you. Because if you don't take care of you, you really can't take care of nobody else. Please. Check in on your parents, even if just a phone call a day, not the text. Pick up the phone and call them. Do a wellness check. Just say, Mom, I'm calling to check on you. You don't have to hold a long conversation. Dad, I'm calling to check on you. You don't have to hold a long conversation. If your dad hadn't been in your life, so what? You know, forgive him for his shortcomings, okay? We all got a story to tell. Okay, so anyway, always remember to practice being wiser. And always in any situation, conversation, or whatever is not working with you, always remember with these unfamiliar phenomena, always think higher. Because when we think higher, it serves us. But it does not only serve us, it serves other people. It serves humanity. And I say that because the wise woman way represents aligning the whole body. And that means trying to be the best human being possible. Okay? So, you guys, thank you once again for tuning in. Ashe!